Meet Olive Dickison, renowned journalist, Aboriginal historian, single parent, grandparent, and author. As a middle-class girl growing up poor during the Depression, she had no idea she would come to change the face of Canadian history. But she did. Her books, huge and encyclopedic in their scope, are Canadian bestsellers, and they're changing the way Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people view their history and their country. When I think of Olive Dickinson, I'm thinking of a, a person such uh, who, who is a leader, an academic, a historian, a person of unique value, uh, bringing together a, uh, the, the non-Aboriginal world with the Aboriginal world and making, uh, uh, making the next generation a little bit more fundamentally aware of our true history, of the, of the contribution of Aboriginal people. Non-Native people tell their history from their perspective. They have not been in uh, our boots to tell our particular side. That's one of the wonders of uh, the magic and the importance and the significance of all of Dickinson's work is that she's telling it from our perspective. And that's how she was able to write uh, a PhD about Canada's First People. This had never been done in the country before, as I say, because it, First Nations were beyond history, they were prehistorical, and she has brought them into the mainstream of Canadian history. She wanted to immortalize our history, who we are, where we came from, where we might be going. That, to me, was her real intent but inadvertently, she is more immortalized. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah.